has x squared minus 3, and it has a constraint. Now, don't worry about the constraint right now. Just let's Wait, just do a little bit. What did I say? I said I'm going to explain all of this stuff at the end. Okay? In this example, all right, um, what we're simply doing is again doing the same thing. So we're going to swap y, swap the variables, x equals y squared minus 3. All right, now to solve for the x, but so when I wanted to undo squaring, or wanted to undo the square root, I squared. So if I, I want to undo squaring, I need to take the square root. Now remember, when we're introducing the square root, we have to include plus or minus. So therefore, I'm left with y equals plus or minus the square root, oops, sorry. Let's use f inverse equals plus or minus the square root of x plus 3. Now, when we go and take a look at the graphs of this, you will see why this doesn't work as far as the inverse. It actually doesn't produce a function. I'll talk about that more. So that's why I put in this constraint. This constraint says x is greater than 0. So what that means is we're only going to look at the positive form of the root. If you didn't have that, then you would have to include both the positive and the negative. And what I'm telling you is that would produce um, an inverse that's not a function. Okay? Again, I will, you'll see once we look at the graphs why everything I did makes sense, okay? So